So that makes me so happy that I feel comfortable being able to stand up like that and show you all of me. Post top surgery, I'm still not 100% healed, but I'm getting there. And I also happen to have a colostomy and a hernia. I've had many hernias. It's a long story. I am wearing a hernia belt, but that is why I have a stomach I've had. I was born with Factoral Association. I was... I have a lot of medical issues, including severe stomach problems. I've had many, medi many surgeries on my stomach starting the year I was born very quickly. So, my stomach muscles are incredibly weak. So, yeah. But I'm five foot five. I'm somewhere between 150 and 155 pounds. I know that because I weigh myself once a week. Because with my colostomy and whatnot, it's actually important. But yes, I have been. At one point, I was over 200 pounds, but that was pre-T, and also before my husband passed away in 2021, because grief took off like 30 pounds that I never gained back, but, and then T has done like more. So, yeah, that just, yeah, I am drowning in some of my clothes. But yeah, I wear long shirts on purpose because of my hernia and colostomy and whatnot. And yeah, I have some sensory medical things with clothes. So yeah, that's also a factor in why I dress the way I do. So. Of course, I also just happen to like this. I'm just saying. So um, yeah. I have nothing else to say. Other than I'm just happy. And I am thinking about what a uh, comment I got recently because I it was like about neck beard and when I looked up neck beard. I've heard it before, but I never paid attention. And it mostly just sounds autistic to me. And I am autistic. So what the fuck is your point? Like, so like, like, that's just autism. Like, okay. But also, I know this looks weird, but I've only been on T for a year and three months. From February 2nd, 2023. Beards and facial hair, it, it takes many years to grow in. I don't know why it has to be the neck beard first, but that's the way it goes. So yeah, this was a journey to get to this point. I'm fucking proud. I'm in the middle. I'm 35. I'm fucking proud that I've gotten to this point. Because it was a fucking journey. I, I fucking earned this shit. So yeah, I will be fucking proud of this neck beard. I will be happy when it finishes filling in. But that takes a while. So yeah. There's that. And also, you can be like, yeah, also genetics. Yeah, the men in my family that I know don't have any problem growing a beard. I should have a beard at some point. But no matter how good a man's beard, it usually takes a long time to grow in. You don't see many 14 year olds, there's probably some out there, but you don't see many 14 year olds with full ass fucking beards, if they have any facial hair at all. So like, I get it's a whole teenager thing, but like second puberty, what you're gonna do? So, I'm I don't give a shit. I'm happy. That is the whole theme of this video. I'm fucking happy. So, yeah. Trying to wait for my hair to grow out so I can have, like, a mullet thing. Which I've wanted for fucking ever, but could never picture myself with it before. 
because reasons. But right now I think it's awkward. But that happens when you're trying to go from short to longer. So. Yes. I don't know if you can hear the generator in the background because the electricity is out. But I have a generator. I apologize if you can hear that. My internet's also out. So here I am. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.